Hello everybody and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports and some big news out of the box camp with a couple of changes to the box squad or more the SAA squad um, that have been confirmed after three injuries have uh, prevented three players from going on the tour itself. Uh, before we sort of go into that, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so we have had final confirmation that both Spoon Corsi and Marco Van Staden are officially out of the tour. They will not make their return um, to, to the Springboks yet just yet. Both of them picking up injuries in the last weekend of URC and unfortunately not being able to, to come back from that. Uh, Jan Hendrik Vestos has also picked up an injury and has been ruled out of the end of year tour. As a result, um, three players have been um, added to the SAA squad. Um, those being Albert Lowe, who's apparently recovered from his injury and uh, will make the SAA squad, does not get added to the... Um, the actual Springbok squad um, as of yet, so he'll just be within the A squad, as well as um, Leon Zass from the Stormers, who I thought was actually very unlucky to miss out on the ASA squad anyway, and JJ Kotzer, a third Stormers hooker who has been added to the sort of South African structures. Those three players will all link up with, the, well, will all travel out with the SAA squad, who depart tomorrow, in fact, um, to, to iron the head of their first match against Munster, um, and then Bristol a week later on the 17th of November. And I think that I think it's good decisions to be honest. I think that um, as I said, I think Leon Zash should have gone into the tour anyway. I, I, I was surprised to see that somebody like Suman Hartzenberg has gotten there ahead of him, considering the season he had last season. And and that's nothing against Hartzenberg. I just think that Leon Zash has been one of the most informed wings in the country. Um, so I thought it was very harsh to leave him out. So really good to see that he has been rewarded. I'll look low. There's not much to say. The fact that he is suddenly back in contention. Um, you know, that's a pretty easy selection. And uh, what I think is quite nice is the fact that he wasn't available, so they didn't select him, and they weren't just going to add him for the sake of it. You know, it was the case of, cool, you're fit, but we've made our selection, we've made our choices, and you're not part of them because you weren't available. But if there's a spot that becomes available and you're fit, we're happy to put you in there. So I enjoy that sort of approach as well. And then JJ Kotzer getting a very surprise call-up, really, it must be said. And and I say that as a big JJ Kotzer fan, but, I mean, you, you're talking about someone who is... Pretty much fourth choice at the Stormers. When you think Skyrim to Benny still to come back, you've got Joseph Dreber, Andre Hugo Fenter, and now JJ Kotze. The hooker stocks at Stormers are, are a little bit childish. And personally, I think, you know, from a JJ Kotze point of view, this for me would be my ticket to go somewhere else, to be brutally honest. You know, you've, you, as I said, you're kind of sort of sitting there in fourth and line, maybe third, competing for third. Um, whereas, you're now an SAA squad member. For example, you look at a team like the Lions who are really struggling with hooker. That sort of for me makes that sort of just makes as a move that makes sense. So interesting to see exactly how that kind of plays out. Um, so very frustrating for Spoon Corsi and Markovic Stoddard. It does kind of put their World Cup into a little bit of of jeopardy because you know they now would have not played with the Spring Marks for almost two years by the time they come back if they do come back for the incoming series next year, um, which is not ideal. Um, and it's pretty because I thought both of them will start to look back towards their best. I think Van Stoddard was was very much getting to where he was um, at sort of the a year ago when he was playing really well for the for the box and I think Spoon Corsi was going to be a welcome addition given the fact that they haven't been able to really rotate um because of Pimpy and and we have had lots of issues on the wing where he would have filled in he would have played a lot of games this year I think uh Spoon Corsi I think he probably would have played most of them I think he probably would have maybe missed one or two games but I think he would have been a pretty regular feature within that squad when you think of the fact that we had five different players playing in in, in that 14 jersey you know, as soon as Cole was injured, Spoon Corsi in theory probably would have walked in there, taken that 14 jersey, and he would have been backed as the 14 throughout the, the entire season. So his injury did open the door for the likes of Kane Moody and for Kurt Lawrence, for example. Um, you know, we saw Warwick Halant there, we saw Jesse Creel there. But uh, in all honesty, it would have been Spoon Corsi had he been fit. So once again, whilst he's very much within the Bach plans, if these players who are now on tour now play really well, uh, and I include the likes of a, of a Leon Zuss, for example, it suddenly makes it that much a little bit harder for Spoon Corsi to get back into sort of the Springbok setup for the World Cup, given the fact that he might only have three or four matches in the Springbok Colors next year, if he's lucky to try and really convince them that he still should be part of that sort of the World Cup squad. But let me know what you think of the three additions down the squad in the, in the comments below. Pity not to Jan Hendrik Vessels. I would have been very interested to see how they would have used him, for example, whether it would have been as a loose head, as a hooker. Interested to see what they sort of see him long term, where, where they see him at. Um, so we won't be able to get to that, but a very exciting opportunity for a couple of players. Um, please, uh, please do smash like on the video and subscribe to the channel as well. Thank you very much for watching. My name is Steven. I'll chat to you soon.